to close out 2019. We are taking a look back at BZ's best, some of the most memorable stories that we covered this year. A few months ago, we looked at Boston neighborhoods, then and now, and many have seen significant changes, but none as dramatic as the seaport. Paula Evans shows us what's changed. It just seemed like it all went up at once. Tony Savarino's talking about the glitz that is now Boston Seaport. It's a far cry from the neighborhood he remembers growing up. It was this pocket of, like, industrial waste. The search for clues continues to this hour. It was the scene of a grisly mob hit in 1982 linked to Whitey Bulger. Both men were shot several times. What words would you use to describe this neighborhood of the 90s? Desolate and barren and it was empty. Alex Morris also sees a much different view today than when she first started serving lobster rolls at the Barking Crab as a teenager. Okay, so this picture is only about six years ago. Here's the Barking Crab in that image. Here's that same area today. It's fancy and it's busy. Tony, who moved into this artist's loft on A Street with his mother in the 1980s, uh, my mother painted this, describes the transformation a little differently bombed out Dresden to Disney World. A young musician, Tony remembers the days of the legendary nightclub, The Channel. He'd sit in on sound checks after school. And I'd watch everybody from like Bo Diddley, the sound check, to James Brown played there. The Channel closed up shop in 1991. But according to Tony, the real change started with the end of the big dig and the removal of the central artery. As soon as that finished, it was like a it was like a fire sale on the property. The old landmarks started to disappear. Jimmy's Harborside on Liberty Wharf was transformed into a block of five restaurants. Anthony's Pier 4 closed in 2013 to make way for this mixed-use development. All of the development in the seaport isn't even quite half done yet. WS Development's responsible for much of the growth here, and according to Vice President Yanni Sippis, there are nine more buildings planned, as well as more green space. We're building something called Harbor Square Park which is a one-acre open space. So this was an artist building right here. Tony loves the new vibe, but doesn't want this neighborhood to lose the artist's culture that came long before the developers. I think the artist community is just a, a ghost of it once was, because I don't know any artists that could afford to live down here. And surrounded by fine dining, the Barking Crab vows to keep serving classic New England fare with a side of sass. And we like to call ourselves not the shiny new penny of every restaurant that's opening, but the comfortable slippers. Paula Eben, WBZ News.